So the new season has been out for just about eight hours or so, and well, I've been grinding it. And from what I've played of it, this is going to be one of the best seasons of ECPE ever. There's a lot I need to explain in this video, my faction situation, everything with the new update just to fill you guys in. And well, look, I, I might have done just a little bit of no-lifing. And yes, I, I, I didn't get any handouts, this was all me mining for like six hours. Make sure you stay tuned because we will be opening all of these relics in this video. Anyways, before I start, if you guys do want to subscribe, it would greatly help me out. Also, I do have a Discord server that is approaching 1,000 members, so go check if you're in it or not, and, well, if you're not, you guys should totally come join. Anyways, I've got a lot to explain in this video, so I'd say we should get started. Now, like any other season, I should explain what is new. In the description, there'll be a link to this forums thread, if you guys want to go check it out for yourself, you guys can do that. Otherwise, I'll go through the important stuff. Now, first up, there's some changes to the faction system. When I go into fmanage, there's a couple of different things with this faction UI, but the main one is permissions. When I click on this, I can set the permissions for different people in my faction. So if I want to change the permissions for an elder, say I can make it where they can't place and break blocks in the claim, otherwise I can make it where they can. I think it's a really cool addition, they added it on classic, and I'm really glad they put it on here as well. There's a couple of other changes, but that's the main one. Now the next major change is the leveling system. Rather than you having to pay money to level up, when I type slash level, it requires XP to level up. Now currently I am player level 15, and I have to get another 5000 XP before I can get up to player level 16. Now you may be asking yourself, how how am I supposed to get XP to level up? On screen, there will be all the different ways you can get XP. You guys can go pause the video and read through it, but in my opinion, I think the best way this season will be farming zombies. Of course, that could always change, but like, it's probably one of the best ways. Also, for those of you wondering, there are rewards for leveling up. They will be on screen right now. You know, there's actually some really good ones later on. Anyways, that's about it for the leveling system. Now, next up is a really cool addition. You can now change your rank. I have access to literally all of the LTRs, so I have quite a lot of different options I can choose from. Of course, I will keep it on YouTuber just because, you know, it's it's like the, it's my best rank, right? Now, next up is the relic system. If you guys didn't see the video I made on classic factions, they basically just brought over the relic system where you can decrypt relics rather than having to place all the blocks. I think it's quite a cool addition, but it also does take time to open relics, and, I mean, opening a stack of mythic might take a little bit. They also did change the shop. Now you have, like, people that you can buy this stuff from, and one of the best things they added, for 1,500 mob coins, you can buy yourself a TNT cannon. I personally know that I'll be saving up my mob coins to be able to afford one of these things, because if I ever want a solo raid, I think having your own TNT cannon would be pretty cool. Another thing that they did was get rid of slash CE shop. Now, if you want to get CE books, you have to go to this guy right here at spawn, and from here, you can get custom enchants. Now, currently, I've got 9,000 CE XP, and so I think, I guess we'll just buy nine books, right? Now, let's hope I got some good stuff. All right, I got Unstable 1, Lightning 1, that's that's decent, Ingress 1, Lucky Hit, ooh, that's gonna be good for a pickaxe, Bleeding, that's a good Sword 1, Immunity, let's go, Iron Army, Life Steal, and Lust 1. You know, these are actually all some really decent enchants, so I'm gonna put some of the best ones in my E chest. Anyways, that's pretty much all the new features. There are a couple of other small changes that they added. You can go look at the forums post. But now it's time I explain my faction situation. Currently, when I look at F-Top, the faction Aristia is in fourth place. Now that faction is owned by Xeon, but it's also owned by me. Now technically, I'm in an F-Top 8 faction, but this is gonna be our alt faction, and right now I have a couple of people in here, but the other one will be our main faction. If you guys do want to apply to join my faction, I will leave a Discord invite link to our faction Discord. I can't guarantee you'll get and if you apply because we already have a lot of people applying and a lot of members already. Anyways, that's about everything I had to talk about. Now it's time we start actually playing the game. Okay, so oh, boy, this happened. Okay, okay, first one on, first one on, right? Dude, I can't go on. It says offline. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. I'm literally the only one on. Right now. I'm on, first one. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting shy. Okay. Okay, uh, the server's offline for me, I can't join. I can't join yeah. either. We're gonna die. Uh. <laughs> the server's okay. online. Yeah. I, I've crashed, I've crashed. I literally I can't, can't join. join. I can't join the server. <laughs> There's no lag. There's yeah, how much lag. Lag. Server restart, server restart. No! Go! Hey, Zeon, you got my money, so... Yeah, yeah, I got Zeon, you might want to just pay me so we can make this uh, value fraction. Added, updated um, F manage. You want my, I, you want my, uh, Bro, they added the system that plastic has. Ooh, ooh, I got a, I'm in Gong Spawner and I got a Silk Touch pick. Let's go. Okay. 
so the server is literally so lagging. So I, I can't move. It's dying. The server is dying. <laughs> yeah, it's dying. Yeah, it's oh my god. Did you just see how many people just loaded? I crashed. Yeah, the server is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to crash. It's offline for us. It's offline. Mm, then you guys actually have poop internet. You're, what, you're on. Dude, Zeon, it was offline for you earlier too. It's the same thing. That I'm happened. in the hub. How? Are you in? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like okay, I'm, on, I'm, go mining. I'm on right go now. Mining, go mining, go mining, go yep, mining. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I am now at 62k, but I need a lot more. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, I, I made okay, it, I made okay. it right as the server restarted. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I join a Lasher on my other account? Yeah, I can't cap. Okay, so. oh, it, it literally does not let you cap. We're anymore. capping now. Alright, there are no more spots in the last year because they nabbed them all. Yeah, it's no, it says we, it says we're capping, but we, we like. I killed him, let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh, this is so cool! Are we killing, are we killing this nice Pluto? Nab? Again? Now I think the first thing we want to do, I think we should flex the stack of mythic relics that we've mined for. We'll just we'll just do a little uh, little bit of an item in chat, you know what I'm saying? Yep, people people were thinking I was duping it. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of how it has to be. Anyways, this will take quite a lot of time just to decrypt all of these mythic relics. It'll take like half an hour. I suppose it's time we get all of these started. Now if I wanted to, I could do different types of encryption. And just to test it out, I want to try doing an advanced. Let's see how that's going to work. Whoa, I already- wait, hold up. It just, it like, insta-decrypted them. I got 1.4 mil from all of those relics. What the heck? I also got 104 mob coins, 14 legendary keys, and 13 Kronos kits. I suppose I should just, like, encrypt it with, like, the 50k to instantly do it. I'm not sure how it works, but I guess it just, like, auto-does it. So from the legendary, we got 1.3 mil as well. 4 MD kits, 11 legendary keys, and 182 mob coins. Let's do these epic ones. Come on, just give us... Give us like a lot of other good stuff as well. About 900k, not bad. 86 mob coins, eight master keys, and 12 god eater kits. Now let's do the rares. And oh, uh oh, this might take some time. Oh, I I, I messed up. I forgot to like decrypt it the right way. I've got to do like the, this advanced so it like instantly finishes. So from all the commons, I got 300k, 72 more mob coins, and 21 mortal kits. Another 400k, 62 mob coins, and 14 mortal kits just from 53 more relics. I'd say the last one we're actually gonna like use the advanced decryption will be these 42 rares. And we got 350k, 61 mob coins, 6 elite keys, 6 Zeus kits, and we still have just a few more relics left. We'll do these the slow way though. Oh, that's gonna take so long. Why did I- I messed up on the rare relics. 14 minutes to decrypt. Belltop right now has 12 mil. I honestly- d I don't think I'll get to Belltop. I do feel like I'll be close though. Now looking at my balance, I've already got 4.8 million, which if Belltop would update, that would put me at 9th or 8th place. Now it's not good, but it's not bad. Thankfully, I still got a lot more stuff I can open so I can easily get more bell top. Not sure if this is updated or not, but let's see how many keys we have. Oh, it just updated, what the heck. I have nine elite, 21 master, and 27 legendary keys. I am going to be the richest person on the server after this. I don't even care. I'll time lapse this. And we have now opened everything. Currently in my inventory, I have so many forge notes, so many kits, 
and I now have four more IG spawners and three more zombies. Adding those to what I have currently, I now have seven IG spawners and four zombie spawners. Well, I guess I'm set for kits. Now from the other relics I just decrypted, I got another 100k, 22 mob coins, two master keys, one legendary, and a couple more kits. And oh, we just got like a whole bunch of money from all of that. Let's go. Assuming Baltop would update, that would put us at sixth place. And to be honest, that really isn't that bad. If I were to sell all of the forge notes, CE books, spawners, kits, and everything that I have, 100% I could be Bell Top 1. And look, I would do that, but I'm not quite willing to yet. And I'm still waiting on these relics to decrypt. Now, I would go and donate like 3 million so that I can get my faction to level 5, but because this is only our alt faction, I'll be giving all this money to Xeon to upgrade our main faction, Aristia. For now, though, I kind of want to hold on to it. Now, with me getting all these OP items and not having enough room on my E-chest, I need to make a sky base. And I'm just kind of out in the wild, so what better place to do it than here? Anyways, as I was saying before I got trapped at spawn for like ha literally half an hour, I'm not looking for this base to be anything nice. I just want a base that can store my items. So I'm just placing a whole bunch of the kits that I don't really need, which is like mortal and all of them. And I've got now 10 chests, so this should make for a relatively good base. Once again, this is just kind of like a temporary thing. Anyways, I think my other relics have probably decrypted by now. And so from all of the rare relics, I got 436k, 12 more elite keys, and 73 mob coins. Hopefully all these keys will get us some more money. All right, look, I didn't get the best of stuff, but I got a whole bunch of MD kits, and these have fortune four, so I can sell them for quite a lot. Also, now I'm at 7.7 .7 mil, so I am approaching the top three for balance. And now I've been through quite a lot with my pickaxe. This thing has 146 fixes, and I did that in like six hours. So I think it's only fair we give it a special name other than just being a Shion Pickaxe. I think this is a pretty cool name for it. I know it only has one enchant on it, but I'll be working on getting more. Anyways, now that I've got my base created, I'm pretty much chilling. I've just about done everything that I needed to do. With that said, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next one.